Christmas. In fact, millions have already met their death in this Pharisee's Messiah group the world control. Struggle in war is not between the rule of Pharisees but for the purpose of gaining a human natural resource control. Yeah. It would be impossible to make the American people shoulder the debt burden necessary to build and maintain a military machine <clears throat> to the tune of multi hundreds of billions of dollars without the constant propaganda threat that Russia has superior military power. Think for a moment what a material paradise America would be if the American people were allowed the fruits of their technology and labor. And ironically, the American people are being made to carry the burden of support for the very thing they actually believe they are sacrificing to defend against. Only the power of spiritual communism could so deceive and subdue the vast majority of a modern state like the United States of America. God bless them. In truth, then the American people are unknowingly slaves of spiritual deception and they are paying for a literally enslaved labor, involuntary taxation, and income confiscation. That's what they're paying for. I don't personally take part in any of that, but there's people who do. And the spilling of blood and wars of the Pharisees. The American people would never yield to this national insult. In fact, they could not be made to do it, but spiritual deception they have caused them to gladly do it. And they don't care. They don't love it. They don't want it. Religion is indeed the opiate of the people. Christianity is the salvation of the people. God bless. God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. Home of the slaves. Home of the slaves. There are a lot of rapists in America, that's for sure. Chill censor. My kingdom is not of this world, cosmos. If my kingdom were of this world, cosmos, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews? But now is my kingdom not from hence. Uh, and that means. Well, you I came from the Unseen it. Kingdom. Look it up. The Unseen Kingdom? Yeah. 300 years after Jesus was crucified, resurrected, and ascended into heaven, Constantine became a Christian in at least in part of pretense, and either he truly was a convert or he played the part of it as a matter of expediency to solidify the Roman Empire. Well, we've been debating this for centuries, though. But, it's all spiritual. We want, we want to talk about this. Uh, you a little teary-eyed? Are you starting to get a little oh, teary? Nothing about the Roman Empire to Constantinople. Are you starting to get a little teary-eyed? Constantinople. Constantinople. It's been a long time gone. Constantinople. Constantinople. Get the word. That's nobody's visit for the church. Istanbul. And we would have a capital of the Roman Empire, Constantinople, I helped set the stage to give the bishop of Rome great respect and power in relation to the churches. This bishop, who had, along with other bishops, been on equal. What is a bishop? Anybody know what a bishop is? I'm just scared. I'm gonna, I gotta start trying to guard myself spiritually against trying to get into a gay marriage. You, you, uh, you just like, you, you run for bishop? I wanna run for bishop. I wanna be your bishop. Are you talking about what, what, one Catholic? I want to be a bishop, 
Who wants to be a bishop? <laughs> Let's kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. Who wants to be a bishop? Who wants to be a millionaire? Let's draw a name out of the hat. <laughs> We all have dreams. Last reason I'm tracing a footprint's masonry and gas would kill. In the general history.